What's going on, you guys? I'm Gamer Mike, and we are back on Agrarian Skies. Uh, last time I left you off, we started expanding our island a little bit. We got uh, Silkworm, and as you can see, our trees are kind of white. What I did was I added the Silkworm to one of the branches, and I just let it infect over time because it takes, like, I don't know, 10 minutes for the entire tree to get infected. It's almost completely infected. But what this is, what the Silkworm is going to do is, if we look at our book here, um, it is going to allow us to complete the smoothest silk quest, so we're going to be able to create an oak sea, fishing rod, and a bed. Alright, so let's get started here. We need to get a couple of crooks made. We have plenty of wood, so let's just kind of... We're going to need several for all this, and we're probably going to... Hopefully this will be enough, two trees, but we'll find out. Um, so we can actually just start crooking what is 100% complete. And hoping for at least we need about 30 string. That's not 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. All right. Uh, we have. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. We're at 11 already. So the uh, the output of string is plentiful. So that's that's great. So we'll just finish breaking all this because we may need more string eventually as well. So just to be on the safe side. We're going to take it all. And. Actually, just this giant tree probably would have done it, but we have an abundance of string just in case. So with this string, we're going to create an oak sieve, and now what the- oh, we need to eat. We're kind of getting a little low here. Uh, what the oak sieve is going to allow us to do is we are going to be able to put dirt through it, and it'll give us stone fragments, which we can com combine um, in a crafting, uh, crafting table type shape for a piece of cobblestone. So that'll be nice. And then we can actually hammer. The reason why we got to create a hammer now is we can hammer the um, cobblestone into gravel, sand, and dust. And then put that through the sieve as well. So I'll, I will show you here in a second the uh, like what you can get from gravel and stuff out of the sieve, if you do not know. Alright, so that... Oh, wow. Yeah, we got almost an entire stack of string. So let's just cut these trees down real quick and replant. So we can get some more saplings. We get we got five silkworms back for it. Okay, and you can actually eat silkworms. You actually have to cook them first. So we'll have to get a furnace before we can do that. But we at least have uh, access to a little bit more food. And we'll have a fishing rod once we're able to get some water. Then we will be able to do that as well. So we have our uh, oak uh, oak buckets here. So as soon as it rains, we will be good to go. We will be gravy. Did I not cut down this entire tree? Jeez. Alright, last one. And then we are going to break that. Alright. We are going to come over to our crafting bench. And let's uh, start by creating the oak sieve. So what we need is two meshes. Laxo. So. Let's just create everything I need. Um, while we're here, we can just create the... Ooh, what was that? That creates a woven cotton. Okay. And, <coughs> sorry. We could actually add the string into our compote. Oh, where my cotton? Right, right over here uh, for more uh, dirt. But the main thing is we really need water. So we really need it to rain here soon, which will be super nice. Okay. So now we need three pieces of wool. One, two, three. All right. So we are set. Okay. So it goes. We need actually some more wood. It goes, let's see if I remember, bang, bang, and then like that, and then these two, like so, oak sieve, okay, could place that there, we have all these coconut saplings, I don't know if you can add those to the sieve, because it's from a different mod pack, but we can find out, we really don't need it, we have the fishing rod already, we need the hammer, which is two sticks here, and right there, and then just the bed, so it's like that, and then like that. Okay, for now we're going to kind of clean up our inventory. We can put the coconut saplings in here, the silkworm, the excess string, and the quarter heart. Okay, so that allows us to create oak seed, which we're just going to plunk right there for now. Okay, so that should be the completion of that quest. We can, <coughs> man, got this nasty cough. Uh, we can choose between, oh no, we haven't completed it yet. We still need to get a piece of stone, so we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to use this dirt. We have a little excess dirt here. Okay, how much did that give me? Oh, we got melon seeds out of that too. Perfect. Just enough. So we can create cobblestone, and now that's the quest. 
We can claim carrots. We're going to go carrot seeds because they grow pretty quick and they give plenty of food. And now, right away before we even open that bag, we are going to plant these so we can start getting some food going. And then, this is like the only tool that you don't require using tinkers for some reason is the hoe. Okay, so let's just place that there. And we are going to bone mill it just to get some more going. Bang, bang, bang. Jeez, that takes a lot of bone mill. Okay, plenty of carrots. Five carrots, so we can plant five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay, cool. So we got a little mini garden going. That's going to take a little bit, but that's fine. And we have a bag. Oh, no, we don't. We got... I thought we got a bag. Oh, no, I guess we got the stone axe of anthropodus. It's better right now than the axe of despair, but we can level this axe up. So I'm not sure if I even want this axe. We're going to put it in the... We'll see what kind of upgrades we can get on our uh, Axe of Despair first. We got another Quarter Heart, which is good, and opened up a few more quests. So let's take a look at these quests. Alright, so opened up, I'm Smelting, which is the Smeltery for from Tinker's contra, uh, Construct. So we just have to create that. We can either do that, or we can go into Dust in the Wind, Melting Stone, or Fishing Trip. So, to do Fishing Trip, we obviously need some water, which we do not have right now. Melting Stone, we need water as well to get the Unfired Clay Bucket. What we do for that is we put a piece of dust into, or not dust, um, yeah, dust into a uh, water and it turns into clay. Be resourceful. We can just do this one real quick. This just takes a second. So if we place the cobblestone down and we use our trusty wooden hammer on it for a second here, it will turn into, yeah, that's right, gravel. And then into sand and then into dust. So we're going to hold on to this one piece of dust um, because we're going to need it once it rains. And that is the completion of this quest, which gives us a full heart if we want it, which we don't really need heart because we get plenty from that. So we're going to go with a reward bag, that one specific. And we get one of each back. So we have two dust now. And this is a good reward bag. What do we get? Oh, it's it's a good re oh, invisibility. That's really important right now for us. We can turn invisible now. <laughs> awesome. That's just what I need. Potion of invisibility. Alright, so we can kind of, let's just give us this extra heart real quick, like so, nice. And pretty much we're at a standstill until it rains, so I may end the recording and come back once it starts raining. So I will be right What's back. What's going on you guys, uh, we are back and uh, my recording decided to crash mid-recording and didn't save any of the footage that I did. So I'll kind of just describe what we did off, or not off screen, what was now off screen. So we got uh, these buckets full with the rainwater, came over here, made this little pond, turned uh, turned it in. We got a the fishing quest, let's see here, if we come here look in the quest book, we got the fishing quest complete right here, which was just to turn in a raw fish. And we also, uh, with this slab furnace, um, or with uh, the cobblestone, we turned it into gravel, then into sand, and then into dust. Applied the dust into this to create clay, which gave us the clay bucket, and uh, allowed us to complete this quest, be resourceful, which gave us a pick of misfortune as well. All right, so let's open this up, see what we get. Uh, eight pieces of beef jerky, okay. That is actually perfect. I will take that. That is fine by me. All right, so now we have a couple things that we can get done. Alright, so we can finish this quest off real quick, which requires an unfired crucible, which is actually really easy. So we might as well just get that done. So what we do is we do this to create another dust or another clay buck or block. We have five. Um, we need one more. So let's take our clay, come over here, place it in there. Do we have another piece of dust? No, we do not. So let's just take the sand and gravel it up or hammer it up, turn it into clay break the clay and now we have nine pieces okay so what we do to create the uh, crucible is we take one two three four five six seven and if we put bone mill next to it, it turns into porcelain clay and we just bring it around and there is our crucible so right now we're just gonna fire it up place you in there with some slabs <laughs> so what we need is we need it over a heat source like a torch will work it's extremely slow, but it does work as that is like our only source for now. Uh, we're going to crick this tree while we're waiting because we can get some more saplings for some more 
dirt for some more cobblestone. So it is really grindy here for a little bit. Uh, we're hitting that, that mid-grind stage. But right now what we need to do is get plenty of gravel. So we have two ways of going about it. I can continuously make stone with uh, dirt. Or we can just um, start putting the cobble we get into the crucible to get a cobblestone generator up and running. So that would probably be ideal over the other just because um, it will we'll eventually need to do it anyways. So I think we're going to go do it that way, which will take a little bit, which I may end up doing some of this off screen just because it's going to take so long it's gonna take about an hour worth and that is it's just a real grindy process okay so let's see here we have the quarter heart we can now put in the chest we can put the reed fishing rod um he's at the same stone level okay so let's see uh oh we got some sugarcane seeds melon seeds so we have all kinds of different seeds we can start planting all right uh let's see question is now i really need a better form of food and the way we can do that, let's, uh, let's replant real quick, we have 35 saplings, is by creating a juicer which will turn our apples that we get and these carrots once they are grown, which they are taking forever because they're, oh, and we are going to move this guy right over here since we broke him. And hopefully uh, we can start, oop, ah, ah, dirt, dirting up, dirting up, <laughs> we're going to dirt up this. Um, but the, it'll give us, I think, two two shanks of uh, food for one carrot once we juice it. I'm not entirely sure. But it is worth it. All it is is it's a pressure plate and one piece of stone. So it's only three cobblestone in all. So that is something we might want to consider. So we're going to compost these up. The other thing we want to get going, actually let's sleep real quick, is getting a, oh my god, looking through my head, uh, is a... I'll eventually figure out a mob spawner platform um, because we can use the rotten flesh to compost as well. Okay, so since we're here, let's create another chest. This is going to be specifically for my sieving. Okay. Oh, and we also have a quest complete. Duh. We completed this, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we did. Wait, what? Oh, no, we got a click. Okay, there we go. Cool. So we got another quarter heart. We can put that in this chest, not the reward bag. Okay, so, real quick, we're going to create a chest. Oh, we already have one. Okay, two chests is fine. Uh, we'll place that right there. And this is going to be specifically for the stuff we get from sieving. So if we look here, I think if we just type in sieve. Okay, if we click on the oak sieve. Um, maybe not. Okay, here we go. So what we can get from dirt is all this stuff. Uh, we have a 100% chance of getting... <laughs> Stone, grass seeds, seeds, pumpkin seeds, all kinds of seeds. Uh, Berber tree seed, that's what we eventually need to get. 2% drop chance, which is really slim. Okay, so from gravel, we can get different broken ores. 20% chance for broken iron. We combine four pieces of broken iron for one um, iron gravel, and then we can break that to get an iron whatever, and then we just, uh, we just, um, or no, we put the iron gravel into the furnace, and it will turn it into whatever. Okay, so, let's see, fuel, uh, and then there's a chance of getting diamond, emerald, all this stuff. Okay, so, same goes with, uh, oh, if we put water into it, we can get fish. Hmm, water still, though. I don't think if I put a bucket on top of the oak sieve, it's going to work. All right, same with lava. I don't think that's going to work. Okay, so, with that, we can get going here. Okay, so... We move that there. We have that going. We have 18 saplings. Let's take these out. So the question is, do I want to start with the cobblestone generator right now, or do we want to move on to... Where's my crucible? There it is. Ah, yeah, I'll screw it. We'll just move on to the crucible here. Uh, oh, we have a bag to open up, too. Okay, so let's just set up this crucible real quick. And the thing is, is we have this clay bucket. The problem is, if we use it for the lava, it's a one-time use the heck oh it's just the water uh particles okay so let's set this up take one of our torches place it there and now if we place the crucible right there see it has a speed of 0.1 mb slash t so now if we take our cobblestone apply it there we'll see that it slowly 
being turned into fluid, into lava. So we need to do that about 15 times. We need quite a bit of cobblestone. So that is going to take us quite a while. But we have two pieces of dirt. We have plenty of bone meal. We have over a stack, so we can just start keep bone mill in that. We actually have the string, which I think I'm just going to... Oh my gosh. We're getting the worst... We have an another fishing rod. Great. We're just going to bone mill all the string. Because we have plenty of other stuff. Okay, that gave us an entire block. That's it. Okay, that's just... That's that's great. <laughs> um, so 18 saplings. I want to keep at least like three. Just in case something happens and we don't get saplings back or whatever. Okay, and the key is just to keep bone milling. Or keep crooking. Because it increases our drop rate. So we have a few more pieces of dirt. Let's see how this is going. So that's about halfway done turning that one. And then once that's turned, we can uh, put another piece of cobble in. The question is, can... Oh, oh, did I just drop that one off? No, I didn't. We got it. The uh, question is, can I apply slabs into the crucible? Because if I do, I can use the four slabs I have, which would be nice. But I don't think it's going to work. Okay, where is my axe? And it's about to get upgraded with this piece right here. Bang, what do we get? You begin to feel comfortable handling the acts of despair. You notice room for improvement, plus a modifier. Fixing up the wear and tear should make it last a little longer, plus one reinforced. Cool, and our tree grew. So we uh, have a little bit of uh, more durability on it. So not quite what I wanted, but uh, we actually have some more upgrades to do. So we just keep using it, and it'll continue to upgrade. Place another one of these suckers down. Grab my dirt. Add compostable. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Because the uh, I added the the string, even though it was at a hundred percent, it wasn't at a hundred percent. Okay, that really didn't last long. Let's convert. Actually, let's do this. Bang bang, and that's completely done. So let's get another piece of stone going in there. All right, and we actually got a spruce seed. Ooh, nice. That actually has a one percent drop rate. So that's awesome. And we got three stone, just what I like, not four. Not what we actually need. Let's see if we can get five out of this one. Nope, we got another three. Okay, so we got two more pieces out of that long grind. <laughs> Come over here, apply this. So, guys, I'm actually going to end this episode here. It's a little short one, I know. But I'm going to start doing some off-camera stuff until I have a full piece of lava, at least. And, um... Maybe some dirt around this. Just It's just the grindy stuff that's just not worth really watching. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like. It really does help. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. And I will see you guys next time.